Good morning. God bless each and every one of you. It's 8.30, January 26th, 2022. I hope and pray everybody out there is receiving a message from this. Do you see up there where they're spraying the skies very heavily? All those um, kind of hard to tell right now because, like I said, everything out there has been kind of whited out. But I got a few things I'm going to read today, you guys. Actually, I got it on this laptop. Let me keep it handy. Let me keep this handy. Excuse me one second, you guys. Okay. Let me pull it up. The E-Sword. I, I wake up early sometimes, you guys. I just can't sleep. So I make me a little small pot of coffee. And I do some studying here pulling some notes up and you guys the time it's it's this is it you know what i mean i know we're at the darkest hour the black horse we see it you know there's no doubt about this we see it and uh that nasa patch we showed you with the white horse and the red horse the white horse had actually had a crown and the red horse actually had swords. And now we know the black horse is riding. Actually, the other day I seen like three of them in one day, you know. And, uh, you know, and I'm hearing a lot about these grocery stores all over the country, which I don't doubt it. <coughs> you guys know, um, like when this, there's going to be a panic. This is where you're starting to see people getting angry, too. And, uh. They're getting angry because they know this ain't working like they thought it was, you know. They're being told one thing, then it's another, then another, then another. And what they're doing is they're they're getting them mad, okay. And you don't want to be getting mad. And, and that's what they're doing. And see, this is where people are being more refined. You know, those that are of the Lord are not going to be uh, getting upset, we have an understanding. We know we're supposed to be making ourselves ready in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Okay. Who had, there is no guile when he was reviled against. There is no guile in him. Uh, he didn't uh, say nothing, do nothing. He just, they did what they did to him. And he did it for one reason. That's to save us from our sins. That's why it says knowing that he did this. We, too, should be willing to walk as he walked and be as he was and leave vengeance to him. Because this is too big for any of us to handle. It's way too big. I don't even like to think about it, what we'd have to do to try to make it right. You know what I mean? That's a horrible thought in itself. Um, but, yeah, the, this is all fake. You know what I mean? I mean I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you get a peek of it anyhow. You can see him over there. But every bit of that snow, you can see the sun gets thick. You can even see some of these babies in the grass. More than that, you see. You know? And it's all, it's all in front of me as well. It's just, it's everywhere. <coughs> <coughs> and you guys, the world doesn't see what we see, okay? They don't see what we see. It's all right. We don't have to try to figure it out. We know. All right. But you guys imagine now when, you know, it's going to be different, different areas. Like when they don't have food in the stores. Can you imagine what it's going to be like in Chicago, New York? People are going to be rioting, looting, killing. They're already mad. So you get a bunch of mad people together with guns. Uh, it's not going to mix well. There's, there's already, there's a lot of horrible stuff going on. Everything that you don't even want to think about. We need to be resting in the Lord. Thinking on things that are holy, pure, lovely, joy. Okay? And we got to be careful. Because remember now. The spirit is using other people. Um, look at like the classrooms. Where people were taught. Yeah, by one teacher. And that teacher was indoctrinated. 
And then that one before them was indoctrinated. And they were taught to teach the way the beast wanted them to teach. Because we, knowing, having the Holy Word of God, we know how people should have been taught, you know, according to the Word of God. And uh, also not to be living all these other religions in. Because if you were reading the Word of God, you'd see what King David or the in the book of Judges, what they went through. Or when Joshua went into the land, what he was told not to do, but they ended up making some mistakes along the way. Didn't get all the people out like they should have. And then it ended up becoming snares and problems. Well, those are examples to us. So we know, you know, and look at how comfortable it is. Like you got your teachers in your classroom teaching the kids. Well, you got a preacher on the pulpit teaching the people sitting in the in the uh, pews, just like the teachers in the classroom sitting in the in the desk. They're doing the same thing. People are being indoctrinated in the schools, the churches, everything. Now this is where it says, "Come out of her, my people, lest you suffer their plagues." We this is the grace of God and the mercy where he's opened our eyes to see. Even what I just showed you, these people can't see it. These people don't see it. They just go on their business. You know, <clears throat> that's because they're okay with this. You know, even the police uh, got used to this. You know, when they got the job, they're going, oh, it's just the way it is. Well, we uphold the Constitution. They voted in. That's just what it is. You know, people got too comfortable with it and God allows it he's going to keep giving you more and more and more you know what does it take before you finally get so sick of it you know we're here to know what good and evil is there's only one way to know and that's to keep pouring it on you know God says they're all in his hands yeah you know, I guys I know I've said this many times before they're all in his hands he turns their heads when your ways please him he makes peace and if you're doing his will, he'll make uh, 10,000 of your enemies flee from one of you. That's the truth. And he can, he, everything in the word of God is true. The problem is people didn't believe it. And we had the wrong teachers in the classroom. We had the wrong uh, preachers in the pulpit. And we had the wrong people in the White House. Okay, that were governing over us. We should have had God fearing people. You know, God fearing. You know, and uh, we and knowing, always knowing, we came here to know good and evil. And when you just let that evil in, God's gonna keep letting it in. He's gonna until you just go get so sick of it that you're gonna scream and holler and cry out. Yeah, you because know, that's what Scripture says. Eventually, you do. Yeah, your spirit ends up groaning. Because you can't, you don't even know, you're just so like, uh, this is like all over, you know, your spirit groans because it's so fed up, but not everybody. A lot of people just keep marching on, man, to that beat of that drum, man. Anyhow, let me read some. It's crazy, man. It's really crazy, but it's all just and it's righteous. And I thank the Lord for me pulling me out. Let me have eyes to see. I was blind. You know when it talks about the blind men that he he gave him sight to see? He goes, I came into this world to give sight to those that were blind. Well, it works both ways. He really did heal people that were blind. But he also, some of us, even though we seen, we were blind. Just like Paul on the road to Damascus, he ended up losing his sight. And he ended up saying, you know, he blinded me for three days. I was blind, but now I see. You know, well, that was us too. We were blind. And he even blinded Israel. You know, well, it came into us. <coughs> okay, let me read. First John 4, 1 John 4.1. The Bible's awesome, you guys, just when you start getting how he's doing it all. You know, in his ways, they're unsearchable. You know, it's just mighty, powerful, you know. Anyhow, here we go. First John 4, 1 John 4.1 Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. 1 John 2.18 
Little children, it is the last time. And as you have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it's the last time. First John 2, 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have no doubt continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest, that they were not all of us. Second John 1, 9. Whoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ, he has not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he has both the Father and the Son. 2 John 2, 1, 10. If there come any unto you, and they bring not this doctrine, receive them not into your house, neither bid them God speed. 2 John 1, 11. He that abideth him God speed is partakers of his evil deeds. So you guys basically, you know, when you got all these false religions and people are all uh, a part of it, they love it, and uh, then they try, then they go around trying to bring people in it. That's why you got to be very careful, you know, and follow the word of God, you know, and you got to believe it too. Psalms ninety one it says, only with your eyes are you going to see what happens to the wicked. Yeah, and it also says the terrors are gathered first. And we're going to see, we are seeing this. And we're going to be here to see it. You know, and this is where we're going to be praising God. But we all have to be resting in the Lord. You know, and you know, and it strengthens us. And at the same time, it's, it's uh, we want out of here. That's where our, our spirit starts groaning. I feel like I've been groaning for several years now. All right, Second Peter two nine. The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations, and to reserve the unjust under the day of judgment to be punished. Second Peter two fourteen, having eyes full of idolatry, and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls, a heart they have exercised with covetous practice. Cursed children. They're cursed. Galatians 3.13 Christ has redeemed us from the, from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. 3.14 Galatians That the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles, through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster and uh, to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. And it's like it says, if it weren't for the law, we wouldn't even know what sin was. Yeah, and we're supposed to stay away from sin. Christ didn't, you know, his blood didn't give us an excuse to sin like a lot of people are thinking. And there, there's a lot of people out there preaching it too. You know, that's why I say you want to be, you don't want to be partaker of their deeds. Okay. Because when we died to this, we don't do the things we used to do. And now we are crucified with Christ. There's no going back to that for us. It's impossible. I don't know if some people, they were meant to. But those that were destined for this, they ain't no way. We died to it. We're, we're crucified. Yeah, you know, once you're dead to this world, you ain't going to go out and do the things. How are you going to sin? You'll have to, be, you'll have to go out and be of the world to do it. All right. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. All right, 325. But after that, faith has come. We are no longer under a schoolmaster. For you are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. 
For as many of you that have been baptized into Christ, you have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you be Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Romans 6, 4. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism unto death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in a newness of life, in which we do, because you know, our eyes have been opened to the truth. 1 John 2, 6. He that says I ab he abides in him, he ought himself also so to walk, even as he walked. That's where I'm saying, you guys, uh, as Christ walked, knowing he was walking towards, uh, he said, when they lift me up, all men will be drawn to me that are his. And they lift me up. He knew he was walking into Jerusalem, knowing he was heading to his certain death. But he also knew he was going to raise on the third day. You know, that's why Peter tried saying, you know, Lord, we can't let you do it. He said, get behind me, Satan. First John 3, 1 John 3.1, we ought to walk as he walked. You know, not of this, you should be dead to this world. Not caring. And we know the truth. Eternal life is at hand. But right now we're watching, uh, we're watching quite a bit of stuff, man. We're seeing all the terrors being gathered. We've seen the white horse. We've seen the red horse, the peace, right down to the famine coming. We've seen it. Even the, the ships out at sea. Not everybody sees it like we see it. You know? All right. First John 3, 1 John 3.1 Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knows us not. Because it knew him not. 6.3 Romans. Know you not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ? We were baptized into his death. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism unto death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. Even so we also should walk in a newness of life. And, you know, I mean, my life has definitely changed. <laughs> I'm sure yours has too, you know, when this, when this happened. But it, it's a beautiful thing, you know. It definitely will change your life. These words, you know, when I read them, you know, we should walk in a newness of life. How do you not walk in a newness of life? You know, I don't see how you can't. Uh, Romans 6, 5. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. That's our blessed hope right now. You know, and you're going to be wishing, you know, wanting it even more as we see this approaching. We don't have to have fear in any of this. Rejoice, man. Because like I said, the terrors are gathered first. But we want out of here just the same. Romans 6.6 6, Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. The person we used to be. That's who's crucified. That person's dead. Long gone. I don't even know who that person was anymore. That person was uh, lied to and deceived his whole life. I'm a new person in Christ now. And when we leave here, we're going to be even a newer person. You know, and we won't remember this stuff. It's just going to be beautiful. All right, Romans 6, 6. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Romans 6, 7. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now, if we be dead with Christ, 
we believe that we shall also live with him. Knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, he dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise, reckon you also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You know, the only, like I said, if you still have the spirit of the world going on, there's no doubt in my mind, the spirit of the world is going to submit themselves into sin because they're going to obey what the world is telling it to do. They're going to do what the world is doing. All right, 612 Romans. Let not sin, therefore, reign in your mortal body that you should obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield your members as an instrument of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as an instrument of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, you are not under the law, but under grace. Shall, shall we sin then, because we're not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Know you not to whom you yield yourself servant to obey his servant you are, whom you obey, whether it's sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked that you were the servants of sin, but you have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered to you. 621. What fruit had you in those things whereof you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. You know, the things that we once used to be and do, you know, uh, now, this is where I wrote a little bit. We know we no longer do the things we used to do. And we are truly ashamed of those things. We also know what it means today, what the spirit of the world is and the spirit of God. That's why it's written. You are who you obey. Either God into obedience or the devil, which is of this world. We did indeed come into this world to learn and to know what evil is. That's what people forgot. When evil is pouring out in this world at a steady pace, the time will come when you will become very sick of it or you will become part of it. We do not even like to think of what will follow at this point of time we're seeing. You know? I don't even like to think about it because it's bad. So I say the LGBT is where it was at when they got legalized. And then I think they added children on that now. It's, it, there's a lot of letters added to it. And they're teaching it in the schools, everything. It's bad. In the churches too, they're teaching worldly ways. The ways of this world, not of God. But now being made free from sin... You've become the servants to God. You have your fruit and the holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh. God sent in his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. And for sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. Romans 8, 4. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh, they do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, 
the things of the Spirit. That's why Paul was preaching about how when a man and a woman are married, the man seeks the things that pleases his wife. And the woman seeks the things that please her husband. Okay? But when you're with the Lord, and you put the Lord first, you love him above everything, then you seek to please him. Okay? That's why it says we are dead to sin, but alive to Christ. All right? Romans 8, 6. To be carnally minded is death. Spiritually minded is life and peace. That's where you can rest now, you guys, and what we're seeing, you know. It's going to get a lot worse, but you can still rest, you know. And the time's coming. Remember, the terror's got to be gathered first. And don't fret no matter what you see. Just trust in the Lord. He didn't open your eyes to be a fearful. You, you know who you are in Christ. Because the carnal mind is an amenity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can be. Romans 8.8. 8. So then they that are in the flesh, they cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if any man has not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his Spirit that dwells in you now. For as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. But you have not received the spirit of bondage, again, to fear. But you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. You know? The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if the children then were heirs and heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that, we suffer with him that we may also glorify together, you know, when we leave this place. You know, we're not enjoying it. That's what I'm saying is we, we've gotten sick of it, fed up with it. And that's why we're quickened in with Christ. And they are just okay with it. They won't be. All right, Romans 12, 2. Be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 14. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. You know, so don't be saying anything bad. Just let it be. You know, they want to they wanna speak evil of you, let them. They want to, whatever they do, and uh, bless them. Don't curse them. Romans twelve eighteen. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Live as peacefully as you can. Romans twelve nineteen. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Romans 12.20 Therefore, if thy enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will uh, heap coals of fire on his head. 12.21 Be not overcome of evil. <clears throat> But overcome evil with good. Psalms 119.21 Thou hast rebuked the proud that are cursed, which do err from thy commandments. See, that's basically what you're seeing, you guys. They're cursed. Okay? Yeah, that's why, you know, 
don't you don't hate them or anything. You just got to know what they are. See, these other people want to get their guns. They're going to be out there with the rioters, the looters, and doing all that. They're not going to be trusted in the Lord like they should be. All right. Galatians 3.10. For as many as are of the works of the law, they're under the curse. For it is written, cursed is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Galatians 3.11. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. It is evident, for the just shall live by faith. And the law is not of, of faith, but the man that does them shall live in them. Christ has redeemed us from this curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree. Romans 11.33 Oh, the depths and the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways. They're past finding out. All right, you guys. I hope and pray everybody out there, you received a message from this. And uh, ready to get out of this place, man. Be be at peace, you guys, with all this, okay? Don't um, don't have a spirit of fear with it. Be resting in the Lord. Rest in the Lord. Trust in Him. Don't have any fear of anything going on. And uh, remember, the black horse is out there right now. And. Uh, when things get really where they don't have food, these other people are going to be going ballistic. And they're going to be running in the stores, taking, stealing. And you, it's just going to be a mess. And this is where you want to be resting in your house, being away from it. And uh, it's going to be mayhem and chaos. And if I was shown, that's going to be about the time of the rapture. And we don't want to be among them. When they're doing all this. This is where you're going to want to be separated from it. And. Uh, when all that stuff happens. All these people getting their guns out. They're going to be. They're going to be. Finding out. You know they weren't rested in the Lord. They were resting in, in. Their weapons. Trusted in that. Anyhow. Alright you guys. God bless you. I hope and pray you guys receive a message from this. Look at some of these chems, man, how they spread out what they do, how thick, wide they are. It's close, you guys. Okay, be ready and be at peace, man. Trust in our Lord. It's already finished. All we have to do is watch, you know, and don't be among them. Be separate, like it says. God bless you guys in Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. All who confess and believe as Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior will be saved. Believe that he died and raised on the third day, and you will be saved. This word says it. It's true. We have to repent from our sins, but then we have to follow Christ. We have to keep God's commandments and the teachings of Jesus Christ. And remember, vengeance belongs to him. And don't do what the world is doing. He didn't open our eyes to do that. You know, don't be following man's ways. You know, these were all indoctrinated. You know, and Satan's got this in people, and it's going to cause them their salvation. They don't know it. God bless you guys. I love you. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.